Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss the algorithm uh, how to find the point of inflection of a given curve, right? So here uh, we'll uh, quickly discuss a problem in which we have to find the uh, point of inflection of a given curve uh, which is f of x is equal to 3x raised to 4 minus 4x cube plus 1. Right? So, we will see uh, the method or the algorithm how to find the point of inflection of this curve. Right? So, uh, our detailed uh, video on point of inflection is already uh, uploaded and uh, uh, you can uh, refer to that video. Right? So, here uh, we will calculate the point of inflection of the curve f of x. Now suppose uh, we are given uh, the equation of a curve as uh, y is equal to f of x, right? Now this curve has a point of inflection uh, if uh, the second derivative that is uh, d2y over dx2 is equal to 0 and uh, moreover the third derivative is uh, not equal to uh, 0, right? So, the necessary condition uh, for the point of inflection to exist uh, for a curve is that the second derivative must be equal to 0, but the third derivative uh, should not be equal to 0, right? So, it means that if uh, say x is equal to a is a point of inflection, uh, then uh, the second derivative of uh, y uh, with respect to x at x is equal to a uh, should be equal to 0, right? But the third derivative of uh, y uh, with respect to x at this point x is equal to a uh, should not be equal to 0, right? So, let us uh, see uh, these conditions uh, for this function uh, f of x, right? So, here uh, we are given f of x is equal to uh, 3x raised to 4 minus 4x cube plus 1, right? So, let us take it as y is equal to f of x. Now, let us find out the uh, second derivative of uh, y with respect to x. So, the first derivative is dy over dx. So, this is 12x cube. Then we have 12x uh, square, right? Now, let us find out the second derivative. So, d2y over dx2 uh, is equal to uh, 36x square uh, minus uh, 24x, right? Now, let us find out the third derivative that is uh, d3y over dx3 is equal to uh, 72x uh, minus 24, right? So, now we have here uh, the three derivatives, right? So, the necessary condition uh, for the point of inflection to exist is that uh, the second derivative uh, must be equal to 0, Right? So, what we will do, uh, we'll take uh, d2y over dx2 is equal to 0. Right? So, we can now write 36x square minus 24x is equal to 0. So, this can be uh, simplified uh, by taking uh, 12x common. So, we have here uh, 3x minus uh, 2. Right? So, we have from here x and 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, we have x is equal to 0 and 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 2 over 3, right? So, from this equation, uh, we have obtained uh, two values of x, right? So, the first one is x is equal to 0 and the third one as the second one is 2 over uh, 3, right? So, now we will test uh, whether 
at these points uh, the third derivative uh, vanishes or not right so for the point of inflection uh, the third derivative should not be equal to zero right so let us take the first point so here we have x is equal to zero so now the value of the third derivative at this point x is equal to zero is equal to 72 times zero here we'll take x is equal to zero and we have minus 24 so this is minus 24 right so this is 0 minus 24 that is minus 24 and obviously uh, this is not equal to 0 right so we can conclude from this condition that the third derivative is not equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 so x is equal to 0 is our point of inflection right okay now let us test the second point uh, for the point of inflection so now uh, what we will do will take x is equal to 2 over 3 in equation 3 right so the third derivative at uh, this point that is x is equal to 2 over 3 is equal to uh, here we have 72 times uh, 2 over 3 minus 24 so this is uh, 3 24 are 72 so we have 48 minus 24 that is 24 and this is also not equal to 0 right so this point x is equal to 2 over 3 also fulfills uh, this condition right that is the third derivative uh, is not equal to 0 at x is equal to 2 over 3 right so x is equal to 2 over 3 is also a point of inflection right so here uh, we have got two points of inflection for this uh, curve f of x so now uh, let us uh, find out the uh, corresponding value of y uh, for uh, these two points right so when x is equal to 0 uh, we can find out the value of y so here we can take x is equal to 0 so these two terms are 0 so we are left with only 1 right and when we have x is equal to 2 over 3 uh, we can take x is equal to 2 over 3 in this expression so y is equal to 3 times 2 over 3 uh, raised to 4 minus 4 times 2 over 3 raised to 3 plus 1 so this is 3 times 16 over uh, 81 and here we have 4 times 8 over 27 and here we have plus 1 so this is 16 over 27 and this is minus 32 over 27 plus 1 so this is 16 minus 32 is minus 16 and this is 27 plus 1 so we have minus 16 plus 27 over 27 so we have here 11 over 27 right so for x is equal to 0 we have y is equal to 1 and for x is equal to 2 over 3 we have y is equal to 11 over 27 right so the uh, coordinates of the points of uh, inflection are given by uh, 0 comma 1 uh, that is uh, 0 comma 1 and then uh, we have 2 over 3 and 11 over 27 right so for this curve we have two points of inflection right so viewers this is how we can calculate uh, the points of uh, inflection for a given curve and uh, uh, again uh, for the point of inflection to exist uh, we have the necessary condition is that the second derivative must be equal to 0 but the third derivative should not be equal to 0 right.